welcome to the devotions for Wednesday, March 10th. I am Deacon Shell Huth and serve a variety of roles for United Lutheran Seminary. I'm honored to be leading us this in this time today. As we begin, let us take a deep breath to help prepare ourselves to focus on God's presence. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory be to God, and to Jesus, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Gracious and holy God, give us diligence to seek you, wisdom to perceive you, and patience to wait for you. Grant us, O oh God, a mind to meditate on you, eyes to behold you, ears to listen for your word, a heart to love you, and a life to proclaim you through the power of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. A reading from Psalm 84. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts! My soul longs, indeed it faints, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh sing for joy to the living God. Even the sparrow finds a home, and the swallow a nest for itself, where she may lay her young. At your altars, O Lord of hosts, my God, happy are those who live in your house ever singing your praise. Happy are those whose strength is in you, in whose heart are the highways to Zion. As they go through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. The early rain also covers it with pools. They go from strength to strength. The God of gods will be seen in Zion. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Behold your shield, O God. Look on the face of your anointed. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than live in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. God bestows favor and honor. No good thing does the Lord withhold for those who walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, happy is everyone who trusts in you. And now a reading from the Gospel of Mark, the 11th chapter. <clears throat> Glory to you, O Lord. Then they came to Jerusalem. As Jesus entered the temple and began to drive out those who were selling and those who were buying in the temple, and he overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold doves. And Jesus would not allow anyone to carry anything through the temple. He was teaching and saying, is it not written, my house shall be called a house of prayer for all the nations, but you have made it a den of robbers. And when the chief priests and the scribes heard it, they kept looking for a way to kill Jesus, for they were afraid of him, because the whole crowd was spellbound by Jesus' teaching. And when evening came, Jesus and his disciples went out of the city. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Grace, mercy, and peace to you from God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our psalm today invokes much feeling because of our lack of being able to gather at our places of worship. Even this daily devotion is most likely being watched from your home as we continue to live in a pandemic. The yearning to gather together and be with one another is innate, innate in us as human beings. 
I recently read a post on the ELCA Facebook page where a daughter was pleading with the ELCA to open the churches because her 90-something-year-old mother just wants to be in church. She yearns for it. Or as the psalmist writes, my soul longs, indeed it faints for the courts of the Lord. As we continue living in this pandemic time with hopes of being vaccinated sooner rather than later, we want to rush to be together. Our innate desire. I feel the same pull and desire. I miss the collective voices in prayer and confession. I miss standing next to siblings in Christ, receiving the bread and wine. I miss getting hugs and greetings from my fellow parishioners. I miss feeling the presence of the Holy Spirit in our collective worship spaces. Even though I know the Spirit is always moving and present, I am in awe of it in a collective space. Jesus displays his disapproval, disapproval at the state of the temple becoming a market because of, of the very idea of what a temple is. Jesus reminds us that my house is a house for prayer for all nations. A place to step away from the chaos of the word. Breathe in Christ. Dwell in the word. Be fed at the table, nourished to face the chaos again. As we dwell on these words from the psalmist, let it be a balm to our weary souls who have missed being collectively together in the same physical spaces to proclaim God's love, confess our sins, receive reconciliation and forgiveness, be fed at the table, nourished to go out into the hurting world to share that love of God with all we meet. Even though we are weary and tired, we have this constant with us. God's love for all humans. All humans. This message is one we continue to, can continue to share even from six feet apart or across our screens. Hang in there, fellow humans. God is with us. Share that message of hope with this hurting world. Amen. Let us pray. Merciful God of might, renew this weary world. Heal the hurts of all your children and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living Lord. Especially we pray for those who govern. May their decisions be made to offer fullness of life to all. To those who work for peace and harmony, may we all take up this mantle. To those who strive to save the earth from carelessness and destruction, may we see the devastation being caused and work to rectify it. Those who offer care to the hurting and sick, may we all see that as work for us to do. God of grace, you are our protector and our God in whom we trust, regardless of our worldly status or influence over others. We come in humility before you, a forgiving God, and acknowledge that it is only in your presence that we can find life's balance and perspective, and that only in your holy presence we can know true acceptance and our true home. God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And now may Almighty God bless us and direct our days and our deeds in peace. Amen. Thank you.